Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. We are going to call this episode Future Tripping. I walked out of the house. I've hit record. I'm going. And it's risky. It's a risky proposition because this, the first steps out of the house, there can be traffic. It's 8.20 in the morning. And uh, as a matter of fact, there's a car right there. (laughs) Stepping on the gas. He's got somewhere to be. (laughs) Anyway, back to future tripping. The reason I hit start is because I have a call coming up. And I wanted to get said episode rolling. I find... Sometimes I'll have all this great idea, these great ideas, all this stuff to talk about. And I think, oh, all right, I'll talk about it later. Inevitably, the later does not arrive when I think it will. Doesn't mean the ideas are gone forever, but I sure do have a lot of ideas that I was going to talk about that I have not talked about that are percolating out there. So I guess when they're ready, they will be discussed. Anyhow, future tripping. It's very funny. I was talking to a buddy, Peter, the other day this weekend. Peter and I hung out a little bit. And and, uh, it's funny. Peter... I don't know why I said it's funny. Full ramble. Peter has three young kids. I think you've heard me talk about them before. Four and four and seven or five and five and eight. Something like that. But he's effectively a stay-at-home-ish dad. He's really good at the job. And so he will bring his kids to the parks. There's a couple that are within walking distance of the house. And I can jaunt over and hang out as I have a flexible schedule. So we got to hang out on Saturday, I think it was, without his kids. Had coffee. Like, he had all this time. <laughs> it, was pretty, it was pretty funny. Pretty fun. And we got to chatting. Him and I talked the existential stuff. Full on existential. Let's meditate on death. You know we're all going to die kind of stuff. Which is actually a great thing to contemplate. So, I was chatting with him. We were in full-on existential mode. And I'm like, I wonder if I'm going to be wondering what I'm going to do with my life until the day I die. (laughs) Assuming I get to die a gradual death versus a fast death per Barbara Carnes. Assuming I get to go the gradual death route, will I be, say I get to live to 75, 
Will I be 74 years old wondering, what am I going to do with my life? The future tripping side of me definitely was in future tripping mode. I'm going to tie it all together with the summit. I wish I'd have started with this thought, dang it, that I actually finally sent out my first email. My first speaker invite email. I officially invited my first speaker yesterday. Holy mackerel, it took me a long time to do it as well. I'm day six into, this is day six of me inviting speakers. <laughs> I've gotten one email out. Holy Toledo. I thought the floodgates would open up and I'd be emailing people like mad. Invite, invite, invite. That was not the case. Took me five days to get the first email out. And then really, that's when the future's tripping started. I was like, oh gosh, what if I start inviting all these people? They start saying yes, I'm doing these interviews, which is what I want. It was more of what if they say yes, future tripping, not if what if they say no. If they start saying yes, that means I've got to find the who to help me get the all the rest of the steps done. I've talked about this before. And then there's also the implication of, holy mackerel, that works. Now I've started to build a list of people that are interested in what you know what 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 I'm talking about. <laughs> so now I gotta now I gotta start dealing with that. And then 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 I've gotta have something to offer them. And I know that I won't want to do what I'm offering them. Something weird like that. It's like you could be offered the job of your dreams and you're like I don't want to go to the office five days a week. But the universe is like, but yes, you get to do everything you love to do. And it'll be fun and you'll get to be of service. It'll check all the boxes. Except for one. You have to commit. Or something. I think you get what I'm saying. But absolutely future tripping on potential success. Life is trippy, people. And I was teetering on, well, I got one email sent. I know I can send the emails. There's definitely a little bit of worry if I send out a whole bunch of emails and no one says anything, or I'm interacting with potential speakers on the social media. Actually, I was future tripping on that. How in God's name could I possibly interact with people on social media? to the scale I need to. Future tripping on that. Then I started future tripping on my little house. There's more work to be done. I need to get the flooring done. There's drywall that needs to be done. There's furring around door frames that need to be done. There's little retaining wall that needs to be shored up. There's some plumbing things. None of this has to be done. Be nice to get done. Start layering in all that. All of a sudden, I wanted to (laughs) move away. Start anew. Say it however you want. And it absolutely culminated in a squirrely meditation this morning. 
was another one of the meditations where I was wondering if the meditation is this squirrely, my thoughts are this unruly. And actually, it was in and out of that, so there were moments of, it's all good and beautiful to this is really squirrely. What is the day going to be like? Came out of the meditation for an hour. And all of a sudden, the clouds parted. The, the, the seas calmed. All I saw was God's beautiful creation. My house literally looked different, more vibrant, more alive. It was really crazy. It was almost like I just needed some emotions to work their way through the system. I did shed a couple tears in the meditation as well. Some stuff just needed to work its way through the system. I was, I was very much, God, what would you have me do? Like, what is going on? What would you have me do? What am I supposed to be doing? And the answer came back very clearly. Exactly what you're doing right now. And I was like, oh my God. There's no need to trip about the future. There is no need to trip about the future. If I invite a whole bunch of people and a whole bunch of people say yes, and my current who that I'm trying to see if they'll help me, if they're not a good fit, the right person will present themselves or I'll be inspired to do some of it myself or whatever. <coughs> you get the point that there's no need to trip on the future. Let it unfold as it's supposed to. That was the clouds parting, the seas calming. Or is it the seas parted? Walking, cars, people. Dodge that car. People, start sharing this episodes. Spread the love. Send it to two more people. How about this one? What do you think? Question mark? Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.